Without bees, this planet would be unrecognizable. In fact, a world without bees would be a catastrophe for life as we know it. Today is the day we celebrate the bee. Early spring and our lands are awash with color. But unlike us, for a bee, it is not the flower's vibrance they desire. It is nectar, hidden deep below this golden nugget of pollen, within this emerald cavern, or inside this violet jewel. For bees, this is their treasure. A bee will visit over 1,000 flowers in a single day, hunting for nectar. Holding on to the flower with their tarsus claws, they will bury their proboscis deep inside a flower. Watch here. Wait for it. Now. And again, down into the dandelion, where the nectar is found. Bees store the nectar in their stomachs, passing it between other workers slowly diminishing the water. And when it's gone, they have honey. Off we go to seek some more. For these female worker bees, collecting pollen is crucial too. And for that, bees have an ingenious method. The worker bee will collect pollen in her forelegs, transfer it to her middle legs, before rubbing it onto a basket of pollen found on her hind legs. And again, Collect the pollen, transfer, and brush onto the basket. Pollen provides bees with their only source of protein, and without it, there would be no offspring. Over an entire season, an average sized colony will collect over 50 kilograms of pollen. But this process isn't just beneficial for the bees. Through their actions, bees have become the greatest pollinators on Earth. Every time a bee visits a flower, pollen will attach on their fur too. As bees move around, this pollen is transferred from flower to flower, fertilizing the plant in the process. End of spring. And the flower has done its job. It has given or received the pollen needed for the next step of its life. And just look what's growing behind it, emerging the beginnings of what will become a plum. And here, below the spent flower, the birth of an apple, an early cherry, actually thousands of early cherries. Bees are responsible for pollinating over 90% of the food we eat. Across Europe, man-made parklands and forests are beginning to change. Finely cut lawns are being left to grow, letting nature thrive. And it's needed, because over the past decade, scientists have recorded significant declines in bee populations due to man-made use of pesticides and the escalating climate crisis. And when nature is left to thrive, it really thrives. If this insect decline isn't reversed, our food chain, economy and wildlife will break down. So it is all our responsibility to help. Please, right now, spend a few minutes finding out how you too can help those who help us every day for nature to let it thrive. <laughs>